Hi guys, my name is Elaine Olay and this is Mary Stanley. Hope everybody's having a good day. Today we are bringing to you a fun program called Leaf Imprints. Now I know everybody's done this before but we're going to show you how much fun we have doing it because we have fun doing everything. Yeah we do. It's true. So <clears throat> let's begin by telling you what you need to have for this fun project. Obviously, you're going to want to get some leaves, and you can use lots of different kinds. <clears throat> I try to hunt down the ones that have cool shapes and really cool veining on the back, because that's what gives you the really cool designs. Um, make sure that you take your mom or your dad or your aunt or your uncle with you so that you don't hurt any plants when you're getting your leaves, but find some fun ones in the garden. You're going to need some different papers to print your leaves on, and then you're going to need some type of paint. I use acrylic paint, but you can use temper paint, too. Watercolor, not so good. Um, get you some foam brushes, and then if you want to paint some details on these when you're done, you can use small paint brushes to do that. So, are we ready to roll? Yes. Let's roll. Let's do it. All right, so we are going to start. I'm so excited. We're going to start by doing a leaf rubbing. Has anybody done that before? Yes. I guess you have. Yes. So, what that means is we're going to just take a plain piece of, you can use like printing paper, something thin, you don't want a real thick watercolor paper, and you're going to find yourself a lovely leaf. Mary, I would love a lovely leaf. Can we show them what leaves we got? Oh, yeah. Let's okay, do let's do it. You do it. Go. Okay. Ooh, this is called a elephant ear. Is that right? Yes. And that's and look a at the baby one. They're like huge yeah. when, you, when they grow up. I don't know what this is. It's a sycamore. And then we got, is it a hosta? Tis a hosta. And that's a Go. baby leaf too. Some of those yep. get real really big. big. And lamb's ear. My favorite. That's it's pretty. fuzzy like a lamb's ear. Did I miss anything? I think that's it. What's this? I think that's a, a maple of some kind. We might not be able to use him today, but we're going to baby. See. He's a little one. Because they're like little bitty baby leaves. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Okay, so which one are you going to do? I don't know. Can I do this with yeah. coloring and painting? I think you can. Okay, that's right. what I'm going to try. I'm going to do this one. So we're going to take our little leaf, and we're going to lay it down on the table. Okay. You're going to lay it face down so the veins are showing. You can see the difference in it. It's You can see the veins there, but they are real smooth. When you turn it over, they're real rough, and you can feel them. So we're going to lay it down there, and then you're going to lay your paper over top of that. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you, can you tape it so it doesn't move? You can. Okay. Do you want to? No, we don't have to. You're going to be careful. Yeah, I'll be careful. Love it. That doesn't mean I won't mess up, but, you know, I'll do my best. You can't mess up. It's art. <laughs> That's right. You can't mess it up. Okay. Then you're going to, now I know we usually get in trouble when we take our crayons at home and we peel the paper off, because you're not supposed to do that, but it's easier when you take your crayon, and I like to buy the big chunky ones, they're easier to hold, and then you're going to take it, you're going to peel the paper off, and you're going to use that crayon sideways. You want this one or that one? I want blue. And I'm going to, another thing you're not supposed to do with your crayons, <laughs> but we're doing it today. <laughs> Sorry, moms and dads. So if you don't have the thick crayons, you can use regular crayons. You can use regular okay. ones. They're just harder to hold on to. Yep. So you're going to take that guy, and you're going to start gently running it over your leaf. And you'll start to see the design of the leaf come out. Oh, look at that. And it's okay if you go off the leaf, because it just adds fun color. Oh, ah. Ooh, I like this leaf. He's pretty. I don't know, Mary, who your favorite artist is, but you know who my favorite artist is? Who? Mother Nature. Yep. She makes some of the coolest designs and patterns that we can't copy, no matter how hard we try. So. Mine looks pretty good. I don't know about yours. Mine's beautiful. Ooh, I like that. All those veins sticking out. So I am going to get a little even crazier and take a different color. So how do you know you're done? when you like how it looks. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add, maybe not. I'm going to add, uh, Here, you want this one? No, no. I'm going to okay. use a little green. I'm just going to add a little green in there too, just to make it more interesting. And you can use a bunch of different colors on it. And the leaf kind of grabs the color the way it wants to. 
But Mary, do you know what happens if you use a bunch of different colors? It'll all, all at turn once. brown. You'll have a brown leaf, and that's yeah. so sad. Unless you like brown leaves, of course. Are you done yet? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. How's that? How easy was that? That was, that was like a minute. Ooh, all right, you go first. Look. look at that. How cool that looks. Mine's cooler though. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. That's, that's, cool that's more colors. detail. Yeah, there's more detail on that Definitely leaf. more detail. It's got veins and then little baby veins yeah. that come out. So something like that is so easy to do. And if you want to do that kind of a print, you can take a piece of paper and fold it in half like a card. <gasps> Yeah, that's a good You know idea. where I'm going, don't you? No, go ahead. Really? You, well, I was, just gonna, I was thinking you could make a card. This is just a nice card. We've been hanging out too I long. I know. You can make great cards for people with a leaf on the inside or the cover. If it's like for your neighbor that you don't want to talk to, you can put a leaf on the front and say, leave me alone. <laughs> that, I'm just kidding. That's a joke. Oh, that's a good one. But thank you. So that's one thing you can do. Now, let me show you, because I went a little wacky, and I did that on some brown um, butcher paper. And then I wrapped up a box in it so you could do like gift wrap, like that. Isn't that fun? That's a good one. That's a good idea. Everybody loves homemade, handmade stuff, because it means it comes from your heart. Yep. And that's a good thing. All right. All right, I'll take this. So this leaf is still good. Now, Mary. Now what? Now's the fun part. Okay. Here's where we get to use our paints and our brushes. We're gonna get rid of these crayons. So, we are going to, oh, I'll talk about that one later too. We are going to now print leaves on paper with paints. And we're gonna use some, all right, let's use this. You want big paper? Yeah, you're gonna use your big sheet for this because we're gonna put a couple on it. You got one over I there or you one. want one? I got one. Get it? Got it. Get it. Get that out of the way. Whoops, don't do that. All right, so you want to be careful while you do this. You don't want to get paint everywhere because it's easy to do. Now, I'm going to put a piece of happy scrappy paper between us so that we can put our leaf on there to paint the leaf. Cool? Got it. Yep. Okay. So, you're going to do that big So wait, so it's only at home a thick, a thicker piece. Yeah, I like a to use a little A thin piece and a thicker piece for this one, right? right? Wait, like watercolor paper is a little bit thicker and it has a little texture to it. It just looks arty and looks Could they cool. do it on like poster board? Yep. Okay. You're just... I'm just saying. So talented. All right. So, what leaf are you going to use for this one? Do you want me to use this one? I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, I want to see what it looks like. I'm going to do Mr. Lamb's ear. I'm going to make a mess because he so won't fit on this fuzzy. paper. You need to use two pieces. Okay. I yes. Want, I don't want you to be sad. I'm going to do this one here. So, so this, this one is cool because he's got tons of little cells in him. And he's really cool looking. I can't wait to see him. All right, so what color are you going to use, Mare Mare? I'll just use blue. Blue, because it's there? Yep. Okay. Mm, that's a big leaf. I'll give you a lot of paint. It tends to have a lot of veins. I don't know. So I'm we just go to it, right? I'm going to do this color. And we cover the entire You're leaf? You're going to paint the whole leaf. Ooh, all the way to the all end. All the way. I poured too much paint. I'm going to put a couple on here. You might be able to only fit one, huh? Yeah, I think. Nah, I don't know. Maybe two. You know what's cool about lamb's ear? It's hairy. It is. It has little hairs it's coming off of it. If you don't have lamb's ear in your garden, you need to get some. Tell the gardener in the house you need lamb's ear because it feels fuzzy like a baby lamb. And you can put it in a pot, yes? Yep. Yes. So if you don't have an outside or if you live in an apartment, put it in a pot. Okay. I'm going to be happy with that. Whoopsie. There we go. That looks pretty just like a leaf. Let's just paint the leaf and leave it like that. I'm a messy painter. No. Oh, see You're what good. I'm saying? You need some paper towels over there, Miss? Nah, I'm good. You're good. Okay. I don't mind. I'm going to start because okay. you got a big leaf over there. I do. So I'll start with this dude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick him up. And let's see. I don't really have a pattern yet, so I'm just going to kind of be wild and woolly. And I'm going to put him down. And you want to make sure when you place it down, you don't move it around or it'll get mm. smudgy. Right? Uh-oh. What? I missed some of it, but that's okay. 
you want to put that on top to rub it? No. I'm going to wipe my pants first. Can you hand me another one? Mm-hmm. Told you this was messy, you guys. And then I'm going to place... Because what I did was I didn't put it all the way on the paper, but as you can see. But that's, that's very okay. That's arty, Mary. See? That so I'm going to put this here just in case it gets on it. It gives you room around the edges to do something else. Okay. So then, once you put it down, you're yep. going to take a piece of paper towel, lay it on top, and just gently press so that the whole leaf gets pressed down onto the paper. This is a cool part because you just don't know. You never know. You don't know. Okay. I'm excited. I'm scared. You're scared. I'm I excited. Am. <laughs> I'll go first. Uh -uh. Okay. All right. You ready? One, two, three. Okay, hold on. Ready? What do we do with it? Hold on. What do we do with it We're when we bring it up? Lift it up and put it on put your it scrappy right paper. Almost oh, scrappy paper. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. One, two, two, three. Three. Ah. Ooh. Almost dropped it. That's so cool. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. Look. I, I like yours better than mine. I like that green. Let's do another one. Okay. What if I use yours on here and you use mine on there? Okay. Do it. Here. I'm gonna it give might you even be enough paint paper. left on there to do it. We don't know. I'm going to add some paint. Okay. Because this is just fun. You, know you all, if it's a rainy day, do this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get wacky. This is a good rainy day Put kind of pink. A activity. Put some pink, Mary. You ready for this? Are you ready for this? You didn't know this came with music, I know. did you? Okay. All right, we're going to see what that does. I don't know. I hope that's enough. It should be enough. Sure. We'll see. First, we wipe our hands. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Oh, boy. Ooh. That's pretty. No, I am scared. Don't be scared. I'm a little scared. Don't be scared. It's kind of big. Uh, yabba. Okay. Oh. Okay. How are we doing? I guess good. Uh, oh. <laughs> Anyway, as you make these fabulous prints, everybody in your family is going to want one. So you can take them, you can put them in a matted frame and hang them on the wall. They come out beautiful. You can just pin it on your wall in your room. All right, ready? ready? One, two, three. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I like that. No! You don't like? No! Oh, no. I can't see any of the detail. we got to do one more. Okay, can we please just one? I don't know. I think mine looks pretty. That fabulous. looks good. Isn't that cool? Mine looks like a splat. Oh. I might have put. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe do another one next to it. Yeah. Like without putting any more paint on it, so it looks like you that. Think of it like this. Just put just it right on it. Next to it. Next to it. Like, yeah, 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 like yeah. this. At an angle. At yeah. an angle. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, this is not an exact science, people. You just play with it and make cool things happen. Pat, 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 pat. We'll see. That's oh, better. That's pretty. That's pretty. Okay. <gasps> so you see how easy that is? That's fun. And it just comes out really pretty. So that's another method of doing this. And you can stay right there. Usually it'll dry in about 30 minutes or so. This is one that Mary did earlier with the um, lamb's ear. It came out really good. Mm -hmm. Merry Thank Christmas. You. Yeah. This is a different one that I did that you can see what happens when you move it. It gets smudgy. Got a little smudgy right in there. But you can paint a different couple different colors on and get really cool effects for you. Pretty. And then because I wasn't even trying, I laid my leaves down on a different piece. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. This is where nature said, uh-uh, I'm doing some art. I laid my leaves down with the paint on the other side and pressed against it with this paper, and the leaves made that design with the chlorophyll in them. Mm. How cool is that? That's nature at its finest. So 
So you can even just do that. Press the leaves on the paper and kind of bang them down until some of the chlorophyll comes out. That's another way you can do it. That is cool. Oh, cool. That is awesome. Now there is, did I get paint? I got paint on my nose? No. Okay. I think so. No, you're good. You liar. <laughs> <laughs> so there is one more thing we can do, but we are not doing it inside because spray paint inside, bad. But what I did with this one is I took a piece of thick craft paper and I spray painted just the background. I used blues and blacks and just dark stuff. And then I laid a bunch of a, a, a sprig of leaves on top of it and use spray paint to just spray over that with the blue with that light blue and it gives you a shadow it's like the the what's the word I don't know it's that it's <laughs> <laughs> we can't think of the word people but it gives you the negative of the leaf on there rather than painting the leaf on you're getting the negative of the leaf when you pull it off so that's another way you can do this but if you're doing this you definitely want to do it outside Lay out a big drop cloth so you don't get spray paint all over your lawn furniture and stuff. But you can make some really cool patterns like that, too. Cool? That's cool. I think so. And again, once they dry, you can cut them out. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can frame it. What? You can make a little, like, like a garland what? of printed leaves. These were the Look rubbings I did, and then I cut them out because I was going to make, like, a, a, a mobile, mobile, mm -hmm. a mobile mobile with it. So I have a bunch of them that I did that way too. So there's just no end to what you can do with these. They're so much fun. And if you find that while you're doing it, your mom and dad say, hey, I want to do that. If they want to use like an ink that you do t-shirts and things with, they can use ink and then put it on a, a tablecloth or a table runner or something like that to make it something that you can use every day too. So lots you can do. If we find that a lot of people want to play, we may offer this class in person um, in the next couple months, so stay tuned for that. But did you want to share anything else, Mary? No, this is fun. At least try it. And it doesn't cost you a dime. Use paper that you have at home mm -hmm. and paint. It's fun. It is. Love it. And it's easy. Well, we want to thank you guys for joining us for our painting mess today. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're everywhere. Um, we're not going to let the COVID stop us. We're going to keep on playing and keep on having fun. So keep an eye out for us and join us at our next program. Thanks, Bye. guys.